Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, thank you so much for coming back. As you again probably will have seen by the title, today is a bit of a random vlog but it is officially the last one that I'm filming before we go to Thailand on our honeymoon which I am insanely excited for, like honestly can't contain myself but feeling equally stressed about the fact that I'm going to have two weeks away from work. I am taking my laptop as I know I've already told you but I just get really stressed at the idea of taking an extended time off because I work for myself and I'm just kind of worried that everything is going to collapse and just completely break down when I'm not here. So yeah, that's a bit of a fear that I need to overcome, but I'm trying to just stay calm and be really organized this week and focused and get on top of everything. So working really long days, we go in about four or five days. So today I have been doing some interior design projects, which I'm actually gonna show you one of them very soon if the client doesn't mind me going to their house and showing you. And if that's something you would like to see, let me know. Um, I was thinking I could kind of do a tour of a project, which might be cool. And then I've been shooting lots of campaigns for Instagram, which I'm so excited about as well. I know I say I'm excited about everything and that's because I am quite an excitable person. Like Mikey said in my mukbang, I think, was that my last video or the one before? <laughs> he said I'm like a dog because I'm like running around like, <laughs> excited. <laughs> and basically now I'm just about to start some cooking, I'm photographing some recipes for my blog, I'm writing the recipes, and my mum tried a vegetarian lasagna at her friend's house, so it's her recipe, and she said it was amazing, so I'm gonna make that, maybe make it slightly different, but I thought I would kind of just chat with you guys whilst I'm making it. And then I'm gonna show you a few new Christmas deliveries that I've had, because I think they're really exciting, and you will have probably seen them on Instagram, maybe, by the time you watch this. Oh, maybe not, actually. Not sure. But I will show you all of that stuff, and then... What else am I gonna do? I'm gonna start packing. So I'm not gonna start packing today, but that'll be later in this video. And I'll kind of show you what I'm gonna be taking with me, our luggage, and just run through the kind of plan for whilst we're in Thailand. Good, it is a bit dark today. Let's get some light on. There we go, a bit better. So the recipe that I'm gonna be making, I will link down below but it is an aubergine, 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 an aubergine lasagna, which I love aubergines, but my mum and Mikey don't. But my mum said that this doesn't taste of aubergine. She was like, it's very subtle, even though that is kind of the base of it. But apparently it's a really easy recipe. So yeah, gonna get cracking with that. Okay, I've just gone to get all of the ingredients out and I've noticed I haven't got any cheddar, so I'm gonna walk to the nearest shop now and get some. So we'll carry on this in three, two, one. And I'm back with cheddar and the jumper on, which I'm now gonna take off because it's actually quite warm. Oh, bit of nudity. It's quite warm today in my house. I don't know why, because we still haven't got the heating on, so. That's just because we're so hot. <laughs> That's a joke. So I'm just gonna cook this lasagna. I'm not gonna kind of walk you through what's going on because you can obviously follow the recipe, but we'll show you it as and when. But I thought it would be nice just to chat with you guys about a few different things whilst I'm cooking. I'll lower you a bit so you can see. See what I'm doing in case you're interested. But That's too close for comfort. Okay, so starting off, preheat oven. 200. Check. Okay, I'm just gonna chop and prepare everything and then. Yeah. So, guys, how are you all doing? Please do let me know in the comments because, as I've said before, I really love to chat with you guys. He says holding a knife. I love to chat with you guys and hear what's going on with you and in your weeks as well, as much as I'm kind of sharing what I'm doing here. A big part of why I love being online, as I've mentioned so many times, is to kind of chat and communicate and meet new people. So yeah, let me know how your week is going, what you've been up to. 
speaking for my future self who will be replying to any comments you make, I'm currently in Thailand, hopefully having a lovely honeymoon. <laughs> so, for those of you that have watched my channel for a little while, I mean not that it's been going on for ages, but you will know that we've spoken quite a bit about moving, which has kind of been on the horizon for a little while. And we do actually have an update with that. So we have been talking a lot about it over the last kind of month or six weeks. And we have discussed kind of moving further afield. So potentially to like London or Brighton or even abroad we've talked about. And even though we would love to do that, we honestly can't really find an area that seems to suit us as well as Bath, which is the nearest city to us now. So we have kind of settled on potentially a middle ground. Obviously this can all change, but we're thinking that we might end up living in central Bath. So we're currently sort of a 10 minute, 10 minute drive like on the outskirts of Bath and between like Bath and Bristol. So yeah, we're thinking of making making the move into central bath and kind of experiencing city life i know i have mentioned on here before as well but mikey grew up in the city and i grew up more in the countryside so i have never other than like university for a couple of years i've actually never really lived in a city so yeah, I think that would be really exciting and particularly with my job being in design and also in making content, being in the city, there's obviously quite a lot going on. So it would be nice to be able to like document day to day life living in a city and share all of that with you guys and the change. And I also think it would be just quite nice for us before we have children, obviously city life can definitely suit having children as well. Like I know people who grew up in like the centre of London and have had very lovely lives. So yeah, I don't know, just we're kind of thinking that that's probably the route we're gonna take. It's just basically being able to find a property that is, we need at least two beds, maybe three, because I work from home and Mikey works from home sometimes and we also would like to have a space for like a dressing area so yeah and we also need a garden of some sort i mean the idea would be like a small terrace type thing because neither of us particularly like gardening so yeah i don't know we're keeping our options open but that's kind of where my head's at with it right do, 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 do. The aubergines in olive oil. Do you know, for anyone who has a puppy or is thinking of getting a puppy, I'm so glad we did. Stormy has honestly settled in so, so well. She's gotten to the stage now where we don't have any like crate or pen or anything like that. She just wanders the house. She doesn't really chew anything. She has had one or two small accidents, but nothing may actually. I say nothing major, last week Mikey, or a couple of weeks ago, Mikey stood in a poop that she did and trod it all around the house. Barefoot as well, so yeah, pretty grim. But to be fair, other than that one accident, I don't actually think she's had another one, so we are very lucky, fingers crossed, and just hoping that it stays that way. <laughs> Guys, I know I've said it already, but I'm honestly so excited for Thailand. And I think I've mentioned this as well, but it's kind of a weird time of year to be going away in the industry that I work in because obviously most people want to get their houses and projects that are ongoing done in time for Christmas and then for content creating all kind of brands and everyone is kind of interested in finding new homeware and buying presents and all of that kind of stuff around Christmas. So it's pretty manic at the moment because I'm trying to get as much done as I can before holiday, like I mentioned earlier, because I just really want to be able to react, to react, to relax and be present. But 
I think when you kind of work in social media and marketing and also interiors as well, you have to be switched on like 24-7. So yeah, being completely honest, I have been finding it kind of hard to cope recently. And I say that with the like biggest sweetness, I don't really know, because I love what I do and honestly not for a minute would I change anything. Like I'm a hundred percent at the happiest I've ever been and I hope that that shows on YouTube and on Instagram that I'm just really happy and I feel in a really good place and I know that life right now is difficult. I'm not saying that I'm earning the most money I've ever earned or I'm like working the least or whatever. I'm working the hardest and I'm probably earning the least <laughs> and investing what I do earn back into myself and my business and growing. So it's definitely very difficult basically and as much as I love what I do, I am really excited to hopefully be able to have even just like two or three fully offline, off my emails, no calls with clients, anything for like over that couple of weeks. So I'm happy to do some work and I'm going to take my laptop as I've said. But I want to kind of keep it as a honeymoon and be present for Mikey because at the end of the day I think it always ends up being really unfair on him when I am basically just working non-stop because even in like day-to-day -day life I basically spend all my time on my phone which is really sad and I'm trying to get better personally at just like switching it off at certain times so usually by like half nine ten I turn my phone off I stop going on social media I turn off my emails and I don't look at it again until like seven the next day so even though that's not like a crazy long time I think just kind of setting boundaries for yourself is really really important and I don't know you never know what the future holds and I'm kind of in a position where I'm probably could do with taking at least one person on full time um, but I work with people freelance which is really helpful um, who help with some of oh, with some of my like design work so yeah it's really exciting times but I'm so looking forward to Thailand and just having like an amazing holiday <laughs> basically Okay guys, so my camera actually died last night, which was useless, but the lasagna was so good. I'll put a video of it here, or a photo, whatever I have. But yeah, it was so good, and I will link the recipe down below, but if I forget to, because I'm always forgetting links, it's on tobyshome.com, hopefully, by now. I'm guessing it is. Um, I actually just wanted to quickly show you the aftermath of when I'm taking a photo of one side of the kitchen. Everything goes to the other side and then over here looks all pretty and nice and the other side looks like total crap. But I basically just went to this place called Whittington's, I don't know if anyone's heard of it, but it's like a florist and craft and like that kind of thing wholesale. I will insert some clips of me there now. So there was so much stuff there, lots of Christmas things. I was looking for some fur stems, which I thought I'd quickly show you. Um, so they actually look really realistic like they're the good branches rather than the rubbish ones basically um let me just organize and show you them better okay so i got two of this size i think they're about seven pounds so you look in some shops like neptune the white company and they're like 40 pounds of stem i swear so those ones were seven and then i got some of the sparser ones just to give a bit more of a natural look which were I think five pounds so yeah really good and you can kind of see that if you 
layer them up and add quite a few and put them in a vase that just looks really nice and I think it's a subtle way of doing Christmas in November so definitely suggest either going on their website or popping in and I also saw some really nice ribbons whilst I was there let me grab those and show you okay so I got three ribbon ribbons <laughs> ribbons this one is a natural hessian ribbon can you see it's not gonna focus there you go, so you can see it's got a really nice like rough texture, that was like three quid or something. And then I got a satin like coppery colour which I thought worked well with that, they've obviously got plastic on. And then a natural linen as well, so I'm thinking this year I'm going to try and do like a gingham kind of vibe, I don't really know, like checked wrapping paper, if I can get any like fabric then use some fabric and tie it up just um, so that people can keep the fabric and reuse it or they can give it back to me if they don't want it for next year and yeah I need to get on with ordering the wrapping paper that I'm going to be using, although I have actually got some but I do get through a lot so I know, I was going to do a haul and show you some Christmas bits I've got, let me do that now with you all. Okay, so I've actually got everything set up on the table up there, but it's a bit of a mess because I've been like faffing with it. But this is all stuff from Habitat and Argos. So I'm actually working with them on a Christmas campaign, which is really exciting because I'm basically trying to show as many brands that offer affordable homeware that you can make look luxury. So I'm trying to use those brands because for me personally money is a lot tighter this year and I know that's the same with a lot of people and even though I might be able to work with and be sent things from different brands to make content I'm trying to prioritise brands that I think a lot of people will be able to enjoy and you can pick up quickly and you can still have that luxury look. So I got these gold, I'm not sure how well that's coming across, it looks a bit yellow, but if you have a look at my Instagram, you'll probably be able to see the sort of real colour. But I got three of these for some console table styling, which I will kind of do a big Christmas, get the house ready in another video. And then I got these, let me pull that one out little like white houses that light up and they come as a set of two this isn't like an ad by the way i'm working with argos on instagram but they didn't ask me to show anything here but i just thought those were super super cute i think they were also like 20 pounds or something for a set of two so a really good price for those Okay, anyone who's followed me for a while will know that I am pretty much wreath mad and I saw these two and I couldn't resist. This one Mikey thought was real. It doesn't look as real in the lighting here but it's a really really good like dupe for a lot of Neptune wreaths. I have one that's so similar that I will show you and honestly I think this was like 15 or 20 pounds as well so a fraction of the price and obviously last year on year out. And then this one was actually filled with um, like shiny metallic baubles but I pulled them all out and I love it so much better this way and I think that's a big testament to kind of not looking just at what you see online. You can still tweak things and especially if you're getting something that's a lot more affordable you can, if it's just a case of like pulling some plastic baubles out to make it look more realistic and in keeping with your aesthetic then I'd definitely say go for it and think about ways that you can just like adjust things slightly because honestly really similar styles to this were more like £60 online and this one I think was about 20 again so really really happy with that. Again it looks really real when you look at it. I don't mean you would know the difference and it's got this wood base as well and a hanger so yeah really love that and I'm thinking actually I'm not doing like any styling this video but I'm thinking it will sit somewhere like this sorry bad angle I mean how cute does that look again it's just a really really subtle way of adding Christmas into your house without going like over the top or needing to do too much and that's like with these um, stems as well I'm planning on putting those in this vase but yeah like you could put some of these up here and I just think 
Doesn't that look cute? Just like a really subtle nod to Christmas and not going really overboard, not going out of the colour palette and then you come in and you're like, oh, it's Christmas, how lovely. A nice subtle kind of nod to Christmas. I mean, I say subtle, I'm gonna have literally a massive bouquet of fur leaves there, but we move. I'm gonna leave that wreath there because I think it looks cute. Um, I also got some wrapping paper from Argos. I thought again this pattern looked really nice and really luxurious and I can't remember how much it was for the three rolls but I bought this actually when I was just in Sainsbury's the other day trying out some of their autumn collection food wise and I think it was like six pounds or something like for three rolls is not bad in today's economy and it looks like a pretty big roll as well I think. The plain red one is definitely bigger. There's more in there. And I also got three brown ones. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. I got a couple of candles and stuff as well, but I'll show you all of that stuff on Instagram and on TikTok as well if you follow me there. <sighs> but I am just about to crack on with some cooking. So it's about four o'clock. I... I've done about 11 outfit changes today. So I, for work, obviously record myself like styling and doing things like that, which is a big part of my job. So I'd say that's now getting to the point where it's taking up like 50% of my time, which is great because I have a really nice mix of both and I feel like I have two jobs, which I love. But basically when I'm recording a lot of content, which I am doing because we're going to Thailand in a few days, which I'll stop badgering on about soon when I'm there, but I just keep on changing outfits, so there's clothes everywhere. I don't know my trousers from my top and my whatever, honestly. I feel like a mess, but yeah, nearly holiday time. So I'm gonna cook a fish pie this evening, which the recipe may also be on my blog while you watch this. <laughs> and then I'm gonna just work late this evening. Mikey is working late as well until about nine. So I'm gonna do the same, work hard, play hard, and then we'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow when I start packing for Thailand, which is crazy. I honestly can't believe it. I need to do some washing and stuff and get my cases out and yeah, so much. And I also need to tidy the house. Well, I know I'm rambling on and on, but I think I'm actually gonna use some of the pumpkins because Halloween is now past. I'm gonna use some of the pumpkins and make some soup to have like for lunch or dinner tomorrow or something. Also, I've just seen this on the side. I don't know if I showed you, but how cute. This is a jumper that I picked up for Stormy the other day. Stormy. She just ran over. Right, I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys, so as you will see, this is a very, very tired looking Toby. <laughs> I was up working really late last night. It's now Friday, the week before we go on holiday. So we go on our honeymoon in like two days, which I am obviously super, super excited for, but a little bit stressed as well, just trying to get work done, hence the look. <laughs> I've got most of tomorrow, which is Saturday, off. I've got a meeting in the morning and then just like some admin and stuff. I don't know why I'm running through my diary, but <laughs> it just really helps me to like vent and stuff. But um, yeah, feeling a bit drained and then tomorrow afternoon I'm getting like hair cut and my eyebrows done and all of those kind of things and then having a bit of a pamper but basically coming on here to say that I was planning on packing with you guys in this video but I actually haven't done it yet and I'm probably not going to until like Sunday and I want to edit this vlog before it goes live obviously. <laughs> But yeah, I'm also just feeling like as much as I'm so excited and you know sometimes there's like a pressure to be really excited, which I am and I feel very lucky to be going on such an amazing honeymoon. But yeah, a lot is kind of going on at the moment and it's a really busy time of year to take off being in this industry. Um, and there's also been like other things going on in life which have been like getting me a bit down. Um, I wouldn't normally like talk about really personal things on here but stuff just that's like going on 
um, personally, which I'm, I'm not like not wanting to talk about, but um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, that's really nondescript, but I have, in other news, got something really exciting that's happening that you will know about by now. I have signed a long-term working relationship with Marks and Spencer, who I'm sure most of you will know who watch my vlogs and yeah, I'm basically going to be showing you guys how I style their homeware pieces in and around our cottage, which I'm really, really looking forward to and for me that's a really, really massive work achievement because they're a massive, massive retailer in the UK who it feels like such a privilege to be able to be an ambassador for and honestly in my wildest dreams I couldn't have imagined that happening and yeah to be in a long term working relationship with them as well over the next kind of several months is a massive deal um, and something I'm but yeah, just blown away by, honestly, I was completely shocked when they reached out to me and they asked for a meeting and the team have been so nice and accommodating and lovely and yeah, so I'm tomorrow afternoon hoping to shoot kind of an announcement for that, so hopefully I'm looking a little bit more alive by then after a bit of a pamper tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping to shoot that and hopefully share that news with you guys over the weekend before we go on our honeymoon but obviously you'll be seeing this like a week or so later so yeah I really hope that that happens and I don't know I always get really nervous before like announcing things like that I don't know why I think there's just like a bit of a stigma about I think like influencers and brand deals and stuff like that and I don't I wouldn't call myself an influencer at all I'm an interior designer um, as like my not my main thing it's as I said earlier it's like 50 50 which I love but obviously everything I do is to do with design so if it's content creating online it's still interior design so I just personally class myself as an interior designer because I fall under that bracket and whether I'm doing it for a paid client or that's a residential client who owns a home and I'm going to their house and helping them or I'm doing it for someone online by inspiring them by dressing my home or doing interior design for a brand to advertise their products. It's all kind of variants of interior design but yeah I know some people don't particularly like when people are like advertising all the time and stuff which yeah I completely completely understand but being like self-employed having different like avenues and streams of income is really important and so longer term relationships with amazing brands that have been rooted in my career in design in work like I've used M&S products countless times I love their food and my mum like I grew up sleeping in an M&S bed and mattress which is to date my favourite mattress Ever, even though I love my Emma mattress that I have now, the m and one, I don't think you can actually get this one anymore, but my mum still has it whenever I stay at her house. <laughs> it's like a dream come true. But yeah, so, sorry, that was just a bit of a debrief and sharing my exciting news that I've been very, very excited to share. <laughs> <laughs> even though you'll already know but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and round off the vlog here and the next time you see me I will either be at the airport just heading to Thailand or it'll be like the day of traveling or it'll be like a tour of the hotel or something I'm not not entirely sure what it's gonna be I'm just gonna wing it and play it by ear but I really hope you guys enjoyed watching the vlog if you did, please do comment below and let me know what you thought and just, yeah, anything. Again, I love, love, love chatting with you guys and comments on YouTube are the thing that actually made me the happiest out of all of the kind of avenues because I feel like it's where I'm able to be the most myself and you guys can, like, see what real life is like for me. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you soon when I'm looking a lot more rested, hopefully. <laughs> Bye!